What if I told you there is an easier and better way to remove background from images than using Photoshop or any tool that is available right now? See, the problem is many tools struggle to mask complex images effectively, including Photoshop itself. Besides that, removing background from images is probably the most boring part of creating. Usually automatic background removal tools, they fail to do the job to cut out images perfectly. This is simply because they use outdated algorithms and models. But now there is a perfect solution for this problem. It's called AIRT image matting, and it delivers better results than Photoshop or any other tool that is available. It can cut out, blend, remove images perfectly, and it can upscale your images by two times up to 4K. So it will also enhance the resolution of your photos. So let me show you how this works and why this is amazing. So you can try it out yourself for free. Here we are at the starting screen of AIRT image matting. And to start, just simply drag your photo inside the screen. I'm going to use this photo as an example, and you can see this looks pretty difficult to cut out. On the right side, we can select the hardware for processing. I'm gonna go for GPU. And here we have the AI model. To get some information about the different AI models, simply click on the question mark and you will get some information. In the edit section, we can AI enhance our image, we can upscale it, we can rotate and flip, or we can crop. In the AI detect section, we can detect what our image is. So let's click on detect and you can see transportation tool. The AI detect is really good if you have different stuff in your photo and you wanna make sure it's making the selection of the right subject. With manual area, you can also draw a manual block and it will make sure it will only select the subject inside this block. We also have refinement options where we can select different refinements. Smooth processing will make the result better of portraits. Outline emphasis works great if you have subjects with sharp edges. And balance brightness is great if your background and subject has the same levels of brightness. Let's not change anything and let's just click on start to remove the background. And here is the result. This is the before and this is after. And look how great that looks. We removed the whole background. And you can imagine how much time this would cost if I would do this manually. Let me quickly show you how the latest version of Photoshop will cut out this bicycle. So inside Photoshop, I'm going to select subject and it's gonna make a selection of this bike and let's make a mask to see it. And look at that. You can clearly see this doesn't work. Now let's go back to AR the image matting. On the left side, we also have some drawing tools. So if you wanna fine tune your image, you can click on these and zoom in on your image and fine tune it how you want to. Here we have the preview modes where we can see our selection. When we export images, we will also get these files. And here we have effects. So if you wanna add an effect, let's say you wanna change the background, you just click on background and here you can select a photo and you can simply resize it to fit this image. You can also blur out the background if you want to. And when you go to the settings here, you can select from different blurs, you can set the intensity here, etc. So you can really fine tune your image here. If you just wanna have a simple color for the background, click on the color and you can select a gradient or just one color like that. Then we have the export settings down here. We can also batch export. So if you work with a lot of files at once, you can later on batch export them all at once. So let's go to the export settings. We can select from PNG 8-bit and 16-bit. If you're wondering why can't I export as a JPEG? Well, JPEG doesn't support transparent backgrounds, so you need to use PNG. Then we have the level, and this is how much compression do you wanna apply to the export. If you put it at one, it's gonna be a bigger file and it's gonna take a bit more time to export. If you put it at nine, it's gonna be a smaller file. And keep in mind that this is lossless compression, so it doesn't affect the quality of your image. Only the file size and loading time are impacted. Then we have the output part where you wanna save your image and just simply click on single export and it's gonna export this photo. And here are all the files that it exported and you can see it created a lot of different files which you can pick from. So this tool is super amazing if you wanna cut out objects, if you wanna blend them with a new background or if you have product photos, you can simply use this tool to get rid of the background and create something else with them. Check the link in the description to try it out for free and I'm pretty sure you're gonna like this. Thanks for watching this video and catch you on the next one.